What are you talking about? I'm not gonna listen to that for five games. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, yeah. No. No. What the fuck is this map? Oh. It's New Kirk Precinct. Uh, for some reason, when I moused over, it gave me Celestial Bastion. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I, I literally saw that map pop up for some reason. I don't know why. I don't even know how I did that. Also, don't forget everybody. Ben's one a day. Uh, proud sponsor of TRG. Stay healthy. <laughs> All right. Game two. Hopefully, this game is as volatile as the last game. Last game was dumb. Uh, fucking shit. About to kick you out of the Skype call. Strike one. <laughs> How many strikes do I get? Three. Uh, I'm thinking one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But but. <laughs> But it's a three strike rule. Marth, go ahead and introduce our players. All right. In the bottom right, the Protoss who builds carriers, it is I'm Gosu. And in the bottom left, the Zerg who builds Lings and Roaches, and apparently Mutalists, it is Empty Knights. All right. Uh, so, um, anybody want to take any bets that uh, MDK might do a uh, less than op optimal uh, opening? Yes, I do. I think he's actually going to play a less than optimal game. You know, I think I think he might keep his energy on his queens a little bit lower than last game. Though. Okay, so he's going gas first. Uh, so he's going to go. Wait, whoa! Forward. He's not canceling. That's so weird. All right, so this is a speed build. Today. <laughs> yeah, so this is his trademark build versus Protoss, where it forces them to get a forge and a gateway before their nexus, because it puts them behind. That's the idea. But the probe's doing some work there. Yeah, yeah. he forced uh, MDK to lose some mining time with those three drones. I got the spawning um, pool going down. Uh, I'm Gosu is probably going to get a cannon a little bit quicker. 15 forge, which is interesting. It immediately goes for a pylon afterwards. He's going to check the expansion with this probe by patrolling it around in circles under this overlord until something happens. Um, yeah. So, what do you think? Is this going to be a roach rush or is this going to be a speedling all in? Um, well, I would say speedling all in. I'm thinking uh, infestors. Okay, so MDK built this overlord so that it would finish at 16. Normally, you want to start your Overlord when you're at 16 supply. So there's uh, one. All right. Um, so. Well done. Well done. Got well done. MDK uh, playing the game, doing the shit. Yeah, man, he's he's playing it. Um, all right. Well, yes. I am Gosu. Gets the pylon block. Good for him. Um, because it looked like MBK was actually trying to plant down that hatchery. Um, Why would you do that? That was strike one and a half. That's where I draw the lines. <laughs> okay. uh, no, I was trying to explain something a little bit, like, actually build order-wise. No, you weren't. And don't yes, even... I'm... Yes, I All was. Right. Yeah, I get, I'm betting you a lot of Zerg players don't know to build that Overlord at 16 when you're going to speed and expand. Because he didn't. He didn't. He pulled that up 14. Alright, so... Enough of that. Um, he's, he's banking up a lot of gas here. He's getting that super early layer. This is actually going to be his trademark super fast muta build, if I'm correct. Um, I, could, I could be wrong, but... it's uh, it, That's what it looks like. Super fast you know what, actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm completely wrong. He, hasn't, he doesn't have more than one gas. I was about to say, you're nope. going, he's getting gas, gas but... Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm completely right. I, I 
for some reason I thought he had more than one gas. Look, so he's just taking his second gas now. I have no idea what this is. So if it was his fast mutilus build, wouldn't he go hatch first? <sighs> Well, but no, I'd, I'd he wants to go super fast Mutalisk without I'm Gosu knowing that he's going super fast Mutalisk. Yeah. Okay. So he brought this queen down. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't. I don't think he's going. I don't think he's going for his Mutalisk build. As a matter of uh, fact, I think he is. Oh, uh, he's Hydra's going for the. Uh, he's going for the Ling Hydro. That makes, and... that makes sense, I guess. He's going to Ling Hydro, and yeah. He's going to do the build that he beat you in game one. That's what he's doing. Game one of the uh, first series, rather. Yeah. Um, he actually yeah. he did that, and he did that with only two gas. He he will not get these uh, gases at his um, expansion. Yeah, probably 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 won't. That's. This is the exact same build as uh, game one of your first. Yep. Yep. I know it. Yeah, it is. I agree. Uh, this is this is really weird though. Uh, I've I've, I've heard, I heard about this build, but I, I you know obviously from. You guys were counting what happened. But you know I what it works uh, it. really well against? If you look at the uh, bottom right corner, this oh, is what this build star does gate. wonders against. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's Could actually we see? exactly what I did when I lost to this build. But I think those are just going to be able to hold it off because he has four cannons at the front. Yeah, he does have yeah. quite a few more cannons uh, than you did. Yeah, I only had one and I had two on the way. But so. uh, he's about to also scout this as well. We do have a hallucinated phoenix on the way. Yeah, so he's going to hallucinate the phoenix to make him think that he's going phoenix, and then he's actually going to build phoenixes. Well, no, he's going to hallucinate the phoenix to scout, I think. But um, <laughs> yes, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, no, I got it. It was a joke. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. We'll see I'm how sure he responds. Really he's, he's, he's the hydralisk. This all ends. A lot of okay, so he his answer to the uh, hallucinated phoenix was the overseer. I'm not entirely sure what that was for because it's actually wasted gas when he could have two more hydralisks. He also doesn't know if he's not going DTs or not. And we have uh, the uh, the carriers coming back as um, I'm Ghost who loves to make carriers. Uh, they're also very effective against hydralisk, unfortunately, just because hydralisk have shit balls for health. Uh, they actually have 80. Yeah, that's, uh, in, uh, my unit of measurement that I've invented, 80 is, uh, a shit ball. No, actually, it's more than double of a Zergling, so. Right, a Zergling I think it balances out. Probably half of a shit ball, then? Hmm. hmm. Maybe. It's yeah. also exactly double of a drone. So it would take an oval, uh, an Oracle twice as long to kill Hydralis. If you put two drones on top of each other, they'd be a shit ball. Hmm. That's an interesting concept there. Okay, Gosu also has five carriers at the front. Or, not carriers, uh, cannons. That would be really nice if he had five carriers at the front, too. I uh, got uh, one on the yeah. way. These, yeah, five uh... Five cannons are pretty nice. Two on the way. This the second one isn't actually showing up. Oh, because he's supply block. Okay, these hydros are going to move up to see five cannons. I don't know if he's going to do a lot with this. What are these force fields? Shouldn't he have force fielded off the uh, choke point there? Uh, that probably would have been ideal. But I think he's gonna hold it off anyways, because yeah. there's, there's too many cans can. there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, it's probably gonna be a little tough. Uh, this game is gonna get drug out for a little bit more because uh, I'm Gosu is getting the carriers, but. Yeah, well, if Zerg sees those carriers, I think you should instantly GG. Uh, that won't happen. Probably not, but you should. Uh, is getting the spire on the way to counteract them, but what he needs is to getting his third. And I mean, if he can get enough mutalisk just to keep uh, I'm Gosu on two bases, he can come back from this. But unlikely. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one thing I do like about MDK's Knights play is that he consistently leaves 100 energy on his queen, so that he got two transfuges. <laughs> Well done. All right. Uh, well, you apparently you know, uh, going back into the call. <laughs> apparently, Sync is having uh, technical difficulties with Skype right now. <laughs> They're trying to get this sorted out, but I don't want to take any game time away from the viewers. Yeah, I don't know why you just keep removing me. You could just like cast. 
And ignore my uh, criticism. I'm not. I'm sick of it. And it's not even criticism. I'm saying a part of his play that I like. What part if of the play do you like? If he was attacked by Void Rays right now, he'd be able to transfuse his queens twice. See, I want Normally, you. Normally, people would just lose the queens. I want you to tell all the viewers right now what your favorite ice cream is. I forget. Oh, <laughs> looks like looks like nobody's gonna know. He got kicked out of the call again. I wasn't. I wasn't able to tell them because you kicked me from the call. No, uh, you're having issues with your uh, Skype. Sorry about that, man. You need to get that fixed. No, it's, uh, it's a super fudge brownie because that's what I have in my hand right now. Yep. Oh. Really good. It's like super chocolatey with brownies and shit. Super fudge brownie. Hey, you know I had some of that two nights ago at Ben and Jerry's, right? Uh, no. This is like Blue Bunny. What? Blue Bonnet? Oh. Yeah, it's really good. All right, needless car on the way. Uh, gonna be able to do some damage to these probes. There's one cannon there. Yeah, he'll be able to pick that off really quickly, actually. If he could kill that Not fleet beacon, his life would be so much more happy. Uh, there's one phoenix is gonna kill all of those mutilists. Uh, well, I mean, the three carriers are. What is he doing with the mutilists? He should be backing off. He's losing so many. He, I, I really don't think he was expecting to see that at all. Uh, he should have been. He saw two Stargates and a Fleet Beacon. What else is he going to expect? Did he see the Fleet Beacon? When did he see the Fleet Beacon? He 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 just flew over it. Well, now. Yeah. But he's just like, oh, he's not going to have anything. Maybe he just thought he made it. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe he thought that... He's doing an MDK build, is what he's thinking. Where you get buildings and then never actually use them. Did he just 2-0 you, or are you just case upset? In, case in point. Stop pressing control, um, cause you're uh, or what? Are you, what is your? Is your van? I'll leave Teamspeak. Is your uh, Teamspeak uh, hotkey Alt? User left yes, it channel. is. Cause every time you ping, it uh, feedbacks. I know. So uh, I left. I left the channel. Okay. So that it wouldn't do that. Um. Well. He's getting uh, Phoenix alongside these carriers. That's... Is he getting Phoenix range though? Uh, oh, there, it's on its is. way. He had to wait for that. I think uh... he might be stream cheating. Because <laughs> <Ew. laughs> I'm joking. But, uh, but okay, Strive is actually doing something that was really smart that I mentioned last game. Is you should just take every single expansion on the map because of Gosu's army is so slow. He has no way to harass you other than these phoenixes that are killing off the queen at his fourth base. Right, and that's pretty much what happened last game. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. To make use of a lot of minerals and a lot of expansions, you need larva. I heard. Um. Yeah, he is. He's uh. He's getting a lot of larva. Cause he has so much energy on his queens. He, he has, has enough. Nineteen like, larva. Six injects. That's like twenty-four larva right there. there. That he could potentially have. Potentially. See, it's, all, it's, all, it's all in the plan. It's all. In the it's plan. all relative. It's all relative, right? And the supplies. Yeah. Favoring I'm go to, but. Uh, I would really like to see double cybernetic score out of I am Gosu because carriers benefit so greatly from uh, upgrades. upgrades. Yeah, and then uh, this queen over here is putting down five creep turners at once. So you wouldn't be able to do this if you had perfect injects. See, this is something that I really like at MDK Knights play because this creep is going to spread so quickly to that. <laughs> oh god! What is wrong with you? I am commenting on how good his play is. They, we're at the 17 minute mark. We don't need to be talking about the queens anymore. Yeah, we do. No. Yeah, we do. We're done. We're done with the queens. The queens are done. Okay. MDK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with how this guy plays Zerk. Um, so Ghost is just going to sit on his ass. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm just going to leave the call because I just don't care about casting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See ya. Mm. Okay. I will say this map is uh, very fortuitous towards uh, I'm Gosu style because his expansions are so close to each other. I mean, he can literally just ping pong yeah. to his main, his uh, third, and his fourth without really having to cover much distance. Yeah, you know, the supplies are even here, but I, I think the game is kind of. Yeah. I mean, if it, it's not over, but it's it's certainly heavily in Ghost's favor. If he just keeps building carriers, keeps building High Templar, uh, I mean, there's nothing MD Knights can be able to do. The only thing he can do is, is just do what he did last game, and as soon as uh, 
I'm Gosu goes to attack, he just counterattacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, even then, I think so many cannons. Ah, I just don't. I don't like those. I don't like. Uh, I don't like Emmy Knight's plan or uh, his chances here, rather. I really don't either. But yeah, he's getting a second spire to get more upgrades. I mean, I honestly feel like he should be making more corruptors and less uh, less mutalists. What he should be doing is getting his spire somewhere else because his base is going to get steamrolled eventually. Yeah, that's a good. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I mean he's on six base, but he's only on seventy three drones. He should be up at more, more like eighty five, ninety at this point. In my opinion, would be fun to see him make a bunch of infestors and uh, neural parasite, neural parasite cool. the mothership core. Ooh, oh my! Oh my god! Okay, that was a good storm, yep. but uh, it's not gonna matter really. These guys are just gonna regen. Uh, the uh, corruptors won't though. Yeah, that's actually good. that's a really good point actually. Oh man, you know, st little known fact. Uh, well, actually, I'm sure everyone knows it, but it's not <laughs> I don't know why he's even bothering trying to yeah, I engage. Don't I don't know either. Uh, that storm though, it can it can it can actually kill the the interceptor really easily. So he needs to constantly be sure that he's remaking those, which. Uh, he actually isn't. Uh, He's got 48. On, on it looks level. like he needs to make, right? Or that's how many he has. Yeah, that's how many he has. Yeah, and he He's needs, missing... he needs to refill. Yeah. Looks like nine. Uh, let's see, no, he's missing. Twelve. He's missing sixteen, actually. Oh, yep. I see. Should be a sixty-four. Yeah. Either way, though, it's, I'm not sure it's gonna matter. Uh, Alright, this is where you go not attack the Protoss army. You go attack somewhere else, but... Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That... That's great casting there, isn't it? He, uh, he did rape yeah, the shit uh, out of that uh, mothership. Uh, mothership. I'm gonna have to start calling it that. I want to say a mothership core, but I'll say mothership, mothership. Mothership, mothership? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he's not gonna be able to recall out, so... It's actually uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, nothing's ever gonna kill that Protoss army, so I don't know. I don't know. I think we should just be going on to game three here in a couple minutes. Eh. Like I, I, I uh, well, you know what? He's moving back now with all his carriers, which is weird. He has uh, to. He's he can't. He cannot kill. Uh, his base faster. I mean. No, I, I think he could. Lim I think he could win an elimination race. He's got so many cannons, or at least he's got minerals enough to make so many cannons. He won't move. He can't even. He can't even get his carriers to the top of the base quick enough. Well, I'm saying if he makes enough cannons, he has those two archons on the ramp. He's got a Templar. I think if he makes enough cannons and then goes and attacks with all his army, then I don't think MD Nets would be able to kill him. A high Templar defense would be the only thing to stop. I'll give. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, that, he's got that one high Templar there, a bunch of can. Well, he should be having a bunch of cannons. Now he's going to lose oh, all, oh all of his carriers, because his army is completely split. Yeah, I, I know, that's what I'm saying. I think he should have kept his entire army attacking uh, Zerg. Oh. Well, you know what? It may not matter. A Kroos may still win. Uh, but, oh, God, I, this is certainly a closer game than it needed to be, I think. He could, uh, those High Templar are very scary, but... What he needs yeah. to do is go clean up the, uh, the fourth. He does have enough Mutalus to do it. Yeah. More like, you know, I think what Ayn Gosu actually needs to do is just build a shit ton of cannons, like, right now. Uh, he should be doing that. He does have the money for it. There's no reason not to. Yeah, I know, that's my point. I need to surround that fourth in, uh, in so many cannons. The Beatles just wouldn't be able to take it out. And he's building two right now. I mean, I, I don't know what he plans to do with the other 300, three, you know, 350, 100 minerals. Okay, that, that was silly. But um, 3,500 minerals, I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's really uh, yeah. no... The, there's just too many Beatles there, though. I mean, they're, they can stack, and uh, they're so concentrated DPS. I mean... Maybe he realizes that the cannons aren't going to do that much. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, he's got that mothership back at home. He's got a carrier. There come a bunch of uh, Templar. He's got a bunch of Templar with his 
his army. And does he have him at home too? He just stormed all of his Templar dead. What? <laughs> yeah, he, he probably could have got a couple more storms out of there, but he just raped all of his Templar. Because <laughs> he wow. stormed on top of his own army. <laughs> Look at these Bad supplies. <laughs> And then, I mean, this is it. He has he has no more gas. He can't really make anything to deal with these mutilisk. I don't know. I don't know. Something something just something in my brain is telling me that if he just makes a ton of cannons in one spot, like literally, like spends down all his minerals and just put, keeps his Templar there, that he's that he still has a, a really good shot at winning. Oh, mothership core is going down again. He definitely wants to keep that, and he doesn't, so he's gonna lose. Uh, storm, storm, storm. Uh, he doesn't have the energy for it. Jeez, is is MP Knights actually gonna go up too well? This is that, that would be, be uh, crazy. I he is I so, he is still. spread a little thin. I think he the difference between this game and last game is he doesn't really have anything to. Uh, that one sentry in the in the center left has been tickling that hatchery to death for like a minute <laughs> and a half. He's got full energy on that fucker. What uh, I'm Gosu could do is just make zealots and win this game. Is, are, yeah, zealots are they, are they the answer? Maybe. Um, I don't know why I worked in those stalkers there. They're, they're just gonna die. But yeah. Oh God. I honestly can't call this game anymore. Uh, I still think Protoss has the edge. Protoss does have the edge. His army is too strong. It's like Four Archons and uh, High Templar. Two High Templar. That's enough to kill all these Mutalisk. Yeah. He can't kill. I mean, he can't kill this. And he can't. He has no income, so. Yeah. The only difference is last time he did have income. Yeah. I think right now he's actually trying to uh, kill, do a base race, but there's too much stuff here. Yeah. Concur. Yeah, there's only uh, 14 Mutalisk. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I was going to try and tr try and make this a little bit if closer, could, but... No, if he could get no. some mining done, uh, he could do something. I mean, he could go back and forth, but... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, he doesn't have enough money for a hatch, though, is the thing. Uh, so he has to long distance mine to his uh, to his main like hive, which is in his obviously bottom left there. So yeah, no, th this game's over. We we just need to wait for Zerg to leave at this point. Go on to game three. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. He's moving back. Uh, I don't know what he. I mean, the only way he could even conceivably win this game is just uh, never take any damage uh, and you know, try and outmaneuver Protoss and get, win a base race, but even then, it's, uh, hey, I, I don't think there's even a 1% chance of that happening. Oh, if you could pick off those stalkers. He has to fight those. I mean, this is your battle you want here. Yeah, well... I mean, it, it's not going to get much better than that. But, I mean, I guess he can go and... He can't even kill these cannons, though. Not now. Yeah. Yep, GG's called. Alright, GG. Man, this is much fun to upload later. <laughs> Fucking tell you. I might just skip this. Nobody's gonna watch these anyways. Yeah. 30 minutes! Uh, I'm gonna ask what, what map he wants. Or can you invite me back to the party? Somehow I got I got kicked. Uh